Hello all, welcome back to this new section. In this section, we are going to start with the dynamic analysis of the iOS application. In the previous section, we learned about the static analysis of the iOS application. We learned which vulnerabilities would be covering inside the static analysis of the iOS application. In the dynamic analysis, we are going to capture the request and the response that are sent and received by the iOS application. We are going to play with this request we are going to play with the functionality of the iOS application and we are going to try to break the functionality of the iOS application. Let's start with the dynamic analysis. But before we start with the dynamic analysis, let's first understand certain basic terminologies. Let's first start with tweaks. What are tweaks? Tweaks are often used to bring extra features or customization options to your device. These are applications that can be installed using root privileges of the iOS device. One important thing to note over here is root privileges. Root privileges to the iOS device can only be given if your device is jailbroken, which directly means that you require a jailbroken device in order to install tweaks. In iOS pen testing, tweaks are going to help us bypass a lot of issues, which we will be looking in the coming sections. To give you an example, let's say there's an e-commerce iOS application which authenticates a particular user based on their face ID. As an iOS pen tester, you want to bypass this face ID mechanism and you want to check whether the application is, st is still allowing you to log in inside the application or not. In order to do this, you would require a tweak called as Frida to be installed. Now Frida can only be installed if your device is jailbroken. Why you require a jailbroken device? is because these tweaks can only be installed using a third-party app store. Now, this third-party app store can only be installed onto your device if your device is jailbroken. So it's a chain. Your device needs to be jailbroken. If your device is jailbroken, you can install a third-party app store. And if you install a third-party app store, you can install the different tweaks. In our example, we require Frida to be installed. Once Frida is installed, we have a switch which is going to disable the face ID detection. And if it disables the face ID detection, we are, and if we are able to bypass it, congratulations, we have got a vulnerability. Now let's move forward. Let's understand what exactly is substitute. Now, if you would have referred my jailbroken video, that was prior to, uh, prior video, you would have known that there are three applications that gets installed. One is the Palerine application, that is the application using which our device is going to jailbreak. Once Palerain installation steps are completed, there would be two applications that would be downloaded. One is the Celio and one is Substitute. Let's first understand what exactly is Substitute. Substitute is a default application that gets installed when the device gets jailbroke. This particular application allows to fine tune and control tweak injection. So what Substitute basically does is, Substitute allows you to install tweaks and not just allows you to install tweaks, but also manages them. So if a tweak is generating a problem or it's crashing the iOS device, Substitute is the one which is going to block that particular tweak and help your iOS device get secure. It attempts to prevent processors with memory limits from crashing as well. So that basically means that if an application or if a tweak is having a memory limit, and if it's going to get crashed, Substitute is the one that is going to save that particular application. Now let's come back to Celio. So if you would have jailbroken your device using Paladin, you might have noticed that Celio gets installed. If you have not, if you have not jailbroken your device using Paladin, but if you have jailbroken your device using maybe Uncover or Checkrain, there might be Celia, which will have, which might be installed inside your iOS device. Do not worry, Celia and Celio both are third-party applications. Now Celia and Celio both are graphical user interface of APT for iOS. That is, they enable users to install softwares that are not authorized by Apple on their jailbroken devices. These are third-party app stores from which the tweaks are going to get installed for us. Some jailbroken devices might have Celia, some might have Celio, or there's a high chance that some jailbroken devices 
might have neither but a third third party application do not worry at all the tweaks which we are going to install in this whole course these tweaks can be installed using any third party application software so do not worry about that for me i'm going to use celio if you have celio it's well and good if not the steps are again the same for cdi as well the steps are same even the interface for cdi and celio is almost the same so it's the demo time and let's check out so first let's understand about substitute so as you can see substitute has been installed into my jailbroken device and you can see the tweak injection is enabled so if you enable tweak injection only then substitute is going to allow you to inject tweaks you have other features as well inside substitute inside substitute you can enable or disable tweak injection you can enable log file there's jetsam operation mode which you can choose the value for you can share the crash data with uh, with with the creators of substitute or not and then there's the credit section and then you have clean crash data in order to clean the cache as well inside settings if you go there would be something called a substitute and over here as well you would be able to find the same options now over here you can see there's something called a celio inside celio you have four things one is featured wherein all the featured tweaks are shown over here these are all the different tweaks that are featured and that are used widely by the community then you have something called as new inside which all the new packages that are being installed would be shown over here you have sources now how does this tweak injection exactly work let me give you a brief for it now developers from all over the internet all, all over the world enable you to install tweaks all you have to do is you have to copy a specific url and you have to add that particular source inside your tweak source it is similar of how you can install a particular application in a linux system you add the source of that particular application inside the sources file and then you just run apt get and the application name similarly over here you have to add the source which source you want to download that particular tweak from and you can once you add the source you can search that package or search that tweak inside the search section so over here you can add the source this is the command to add the source and then you can install it now in order to find the sources all you have to do is you can go on to ios repo updates.com this is a wonderful wonderful website whatever tweak you want to install for you can just search it over here so let's say i want to install a tweak let's say called as frida and once i hit on the search option it's going to give me all the details related to frida tweaks I'm going to install the very recent one that is updated on 17 to 2023. I'm going to click on that. Once I click on that, there would be something called as add Frida. I'm going to click on add Frida and then I'm going to click on the third party app store, which I'm using. Make sure if you're using Cydia, use Cydia. If you're using Zebra, use Zebra. If you're using installer, use installer and those users or those viewers who are using Celio, use Celio. Since I am using Celio, I'm going to click on Celio. And once I click on Celio, what happens is it gives me a prompt to open in Celio. I'm going to click on open. And once I click on open, my source gets added up. All I have to do is click on add source. For me, the source has already been added. So I've clicked on cancel, but you can simply add the source. And once you add the source, you can go inside the search. These are all the different packages that have been installed or some packages that might need update can also be found over here. You can click on upgrade all to upgrade all the packages. Over here in the search option, I'm going to search for the source which I have added for the tweak which I have added, that is Frida. So let's say I'm searching for Frida and I would be getting for Frida. Over here, I'm searching for jailbreak related tweaks so over here i'm getting a lot of jailbreak related tweaks and let's say i want to install a particular tweak you can install it using by clicking on the get button once you click on the get button you can install that tweak as well so yes that is it for this particular video 
I hope you understood how you can install tweaks. I'm going to create a new video for how exactly we are going to install tweaks, but I hope at least you understood what substitute is, what CLO is, what are third party app stores. So that's it for this particular video. Thank you.